A new information on this week's high-profile meeting between Iran's president and Vladimir Putin, Hassan Rouhani, visiting Moscow to strengthen ties between the two nations, raising some questions about what it means for us. Mark Dubowitz is the executive director of the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. Mark, what does it mean for us? Why, why are these two meeting? Well, Russia and Iran have had a very close partnership. They're not necessarily allies, and certainly Rouhani fears that Putin at some point might throw the Iranians under the bus in uh, forging a closer relationship with the United States. So he's running off to Moscow to try and reassure the Iranians that they are indeed allies and that uh, not to do so. The, the weapons trade between the two countries, because we focus so much on the nuclear program, we're going to talk a little bit about that. But what about the weapons that go back and forth between Iran and Russia? Yeah, significant uh, weapons transfers, particularly Russia, to Iran, and they've sent them air defense systems. They're working on deals for sophisticated fighter jets, for battle tanks, and the Russians are chomping at the bit to sell billions of dollars worth of conventional weaponry to the Iranian army. So in the meantime, we have all this question about the Iran nuclear deal. What's the way forward for the Trump administration? Mm -hmm. Congress is even taking up potentially new sanctions this week against anyone that, that is, again, seen to do any sort of dealings in that area with Iran. What do you think is the right way forward when it comes to protecting the United States of, Amer of America? The right way forward is for the Trump administration to develop what Ronald Reagan developed in the 1980s, which is a national security strategy at the time to subvert and roll back Soviet power. This would be the Iran equivalent, and it means all instruments of American power, including but not limited to sanctions and financial power, in order to check the Iranians, their regional aggression, and to ensure they don't take a patient pathway to nuclear weapons and ICBMs under the nuclear deal. It's interesting, patient pathway. Talk to us a little bit more about that, because it's your assertion that Iran doesn't actually need to cheat to get nuclear weapons, that they can just sort of wait. They can wait, because there are, uh, Jenna, there are, the restrictions in the nuclear deal will actually sunset. They'll disappear over time, beginning in about six and a half years, and about after nine years, 12 years. Many of these restrictions go away, and Iran can develop an industrial size nuclear weapons capacity with an ICBM, a powerful economy, and regional hegemony. And all they have to do is actually follow the deal. So the whole talk about enforcing the deal, and we've got to rigorously and aggressively enforce the deal, it's a delusion. It actually gives Iran and the mull is exactly what they want. Well, that's nerve-wracking to think it's only six years away. Um, again, going back to the Trump administration, is there anything that they could do right now to make that harder for Iran? We understand your strategy overall using that Reagan strategy, but in the immediate, is there something that they could do that would have an impact? One is to really rebuild the sanctions pressure, the economic pressure. Congress has introduced the bills, as you mentioned, which is the beginning of that. Number two is uh, to begin to roll back Iranian aggression in the region, in Yemen, in Syria, and Iraq, and elsewhere. And number three is to make it very clear to our partners that we will not tolerate a patient pathway to nuclear weapons, and we will absolutely keep the Iranians one year from breakout, which is where they are today, permanently. We're not going to allow these restrictions to sunset, regardless of Iranian behavior, and regardless whether the same hard men of Iran still rule the regime in a decade from now. We thought it was interesting, the meeting taking place, the timing of it, so we wanted to make sure to tell our viewers a little bit about it. Mark, thank you very much. appreciate your expertise as always. Thanks, Jenna.